but we're hoping that the bailiffs will knock at the gates, be told that there's nobody at home and go away. Clearly there is somebody at home, so what happens next? Well then we have to see what the bailiffs do, it's not a case of what the farmers do, it's what the bailiffs do. You've made it very clear that you're not going to let them in, and they say they have the legal right to come in and start removing these... Uh Chalice. We're not even sure they have a legal right. Um, the bailiffs seem to be working for the council. We're not sure the bailiffs have been vetted to deal with children, to deal with vulnerable people, or even if they've got certificates. Has anyone out there asked that these bailiffs are entitled and are lawfully acting for the, the council? No one seems to answer that. So what are your tactics if they do decide to come and try to tear down this barrier? What, what, are, you, what are you actually going to do? We're all here to support this support the tablets and to support this gate. We will wait and see what the bailiffs intend to do. What does that mean in practical terms? I mean, what, what preparations have you made? Well, we, we have people locked on at the gate. Um, if the bailiffs try to crash the gate, they will end up killing two people. Who's responsibility for that? Obviously the bailiffs. They, they know that and are aware that people are there. So they have the, uh, the choice, do they knock the gate down and kill people or do they not knock the gate down? These bailiffs have a history of being legalised thugs. It's a shame on Basland Council that they would hire a group of mercenaries such as Constant and Cole. These people have contacts and links to far-right organisations and yet here they are breaking down an ethnic minority group's home. Think about it, England. Your travellers... Travellers move on, don't they? But does, a, a, does an African man have to live in Africa to be African? This is a base for travellers. Travellers have put the children in school. They've got a hospital appointments, they've got doctors, they've got dentists. They're allowed to stop if they want and they're allowed to move when they want. This is still a free country, isn't it? Does that mean that you're still travellers? How, how do you call yourself travellers when you're not prepared to move? Travellers are put to us, you don't have to, everyone's a traveller. Do you go away for two weeks holiday a year? You're a traveller. But people don't travel all the time, people have to stop sometimes. You can't be constantly travelling. This is a base for people to put the tent to the wounds, look to the children, get education for the children, and then travel when they feel like travelling. You shouldn't be told to travel and keep on the move just because people say you're a traveller.